Hi everybody, it's Brett here from Metropole. Well, our property markets have started 2021 with a bang. It's quite incredible what we're seeing at ground level. And this kind of data and information probably will take another couple of months to flow through. Because what we're seeing at ground level is straight away, Sydney interest has gone through the roof, straight back to 90% after the Christmas break for our auction clearance rates. Brisbane have lines 100 metres long to get into open homes. Um, multiple groups through, 20, 20 offers on a property, all these kinds of things, and people trying to buy property from everywhere around Australia and internationally. And Melbourne's starting to follow suit, so that momentum is really starting to pick up around the country. Why? And why will this continue for the next 12 to 18 months? Well, I feel there's three main reasons. The first one has got to do with more disposable income. Usually, Australians spend upwards of $64, $65 billion overseas each year, and that is out, um, especially for the next six to 12 months. So a lot of things are happening in the meantime. Our savings rates have gone from about 6% ticking up to almost 20% in December. Our credit card debt is $4.2 billion down, which is fantastic. And things like new car sales and more disposable income means people are spending more. And that's the same for housing as well. If you've got a good, reliable job and a steady income, um, it's a great opportunity to potentially upgrade your house, um, relocate, re-knock, rebuild or things like that. Uh, and potentially also it might be the impetus for someone who has been thinking about investing to actually pull the trigger. They know they're not going to be spending additional money for the next short term period. So it might be an impetus for investors to start moving forward as well. The second thing is the consumer confidence. And, and clearly, um, you know, coming out of lockdowns and things around the country and a little bit more certainty, we're at 14 month highs. So we're pre-coronavirus, we're back to where we were and that's been gathering momentum. And I feel it will still gather momentum into the early part of this year, giving people the confidence to actually move forward and invest and also buy. There's a level of certainty in the market and I think that's important. The third thing is obviously interest rates, quite incredible. Um, I did a case study about 10, for about 10 years ago and interest rates at the time were north of 7% and an owner occupier can now get a, an interest rate about 1.8, 1.9%, quite remarkable. Um, and if you, like I said, if you've got a steady income, a good job, interest rates are going nowhere and that's a big attraction for home buyers at the moment and eventually once the uh, the interest rates flow through once APRA changes start to happen and the confidence starts to rise we'll start to see more investors creep back in the market investors barely make up a quarter of the market at the moment but that's going to change rapidly moving into the second and third quarters this year so lots happening around the country the three big things I think are the interest rates the consumer confidence and more disposable income throughout this year are really going to give property a bit of a shove forward. So fantastic opportunity to get in. A lot of people are missing out. If you're wanting to have a professional team on your side, don't hesitate to reach out.